Former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif has reached the accountability court for hearing on three corruption references that have been filed against him and his family members. But the hearing is presently underway and around 2,000 personnel of the police and rangers have been deployed in and around the judicial complex where the hearing is taking place. The supporters of the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz and members of the government have been barred from entering the judicial complex. The Sharif's sons, Hassan Hussain and also daughter Maryam Nawaz and his son-in-law Safdar will not appear in the court as they haven't yet returned from London. But the accountability court may issue non-bailable arrest warrants for Sharif's family for skipping the proceedings for a third time. Now, earlier, the court had issued bailable warrants for Hassan, Hussein, Maryam and Safdar. Now, during his first appearance in the accountability court on September 26, Sharif's had requested for exemption from personal appearance and this had been rejected by the court. Now, Sharif is likely to leave for London to be with his wife on the 5th of October as she has undergone three successful surgeries for throat cancer in London. And for more on this, we are joined in by our correspondent, Taha Siddiqui, who joins us from Islamabad. Uh, Taha, what does this essentially mean? Is there more trouble for Nawaz Sharif? Well, uh, basically, uh, the National Accountability Bureau has, is supposed to uh, indict uh, Nawaz Sharif uh, with regards to the three references that he has had, along with his uh, three children uh, uh, and his uh, his. Uh, son-in-law also, mm -hmm. uh, who's Mariam, Mariam Nawaz's husband. So basically, uh, but but because of the fact that uh, the, the all the, the rest of the family did not appear, uh, the, the courts for now have said that uh, they have uh, deferred the, the hearing until 9th of October, and that is when uh, the indictment will happen, uh, which is basically with regards to what, uh, the, you know, these three references are. Uh, which were uh, which were submitted to them by by the joint investigation team after the Supreme Court ordered these three references to be uh, 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 three references right. moved against Nawaz Sharif. Right now, considering that the court has now given a non-bailable warrant because the Sharifs have not presented themselves in the court, are we looking at another sort of an exile for the Sharifs? Well, it's it's basically the four uh, the the three children and and the uh, son-in-law that has been uh, there. There's been issue of non-bailable arrests of them. Uh, the, the the non-bailable arrest warrants have been issued of, with regards to them. Mm -hmm. uh, they are basically right now in in the UK in London. And from what we understand, Nawashif had already said uh, uh, that you know the, because of the, his wife. Uh, situation and the wife is not uh, well uh, with Kulsum Nawaz. Uh, so the, 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 the children are with the mother right now and they will basically be uh, there until the mother is, is better and has recovered. So she's right now in the hospital and the, the plea that Nawaz Sharif is taking is that the children cannot come because of their mother's situation and right. because of which uh, it's unlikely that in the next next hearing which is on the 12th of October uh, the uh, 9th of October, uh, that it would probably that that the, the children would come. So now the arrest warrants have come out, but because they're not in the country, it's unlikely that they can be arrested uh, unless they come back to the country. 